Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. Greetings, comrades, in the war against social justice cancer. It appears that the University of Missouri is having some enrollment problems. After all of the nonsense with Concerned Student 1950, it's no surprise. Apparently, 25% of the students who were enrolled last year have not renewed their enrollments. Budgets are being cut. Jobs are being terminated. Residence halls are being closed down. This is what they deserve for giving in to the social justice cancer, for having the top administration willingly give up their positions to capitulate to social justice warriors. The university is reaping what it has sown. Let the University of Missouri serve as a warning to all other universities in the country. If you continue to embrace the cancer that is social justice and modern feminism, you will be taken down. You will not be taken down actively. No one is going to show up and start beating up the social justice warriors that you allow to infest your campus. However, we will vote with our feet. No one will enroll at your school. Your so-called safe spaces are bullshit. What you are really doing is enabling black supremacist activists and an overall rhetoric of hatred and racism and sexism to take over your institutions. These people do not ever stop. Their demands do not end. If you wish for your institution of higher education to retain some degree of integrity, you must shut them down. You must inform them that they will be arrested for behaving poorly on campus. The book must be thrown at these people. Take Melissa Click. Melissa Click is the woman who confronted violently a reporter and police for the concerned student 1950 protesters. She was fired from her post, and that still has not redeemed the University of Missouri, nor should it. The university has not gone far enough. The only way that they will be able to restore their integrity is to eliminate women and gender studies courses from their curriculum, to tell the students that this sort of behavior will not be tolerated, to tell them that if they trample the rights of other people to speak, they will be shut down. Your ability to swing your fists ends where my nose begins. This is the way that college should treat freedom of speech. These protests should not be permitted. They're not pro protests in the first place. Running around screaming about how black people have it so bad in this country and how horribly unjust it is, is not a protest. You are the ones who are being given the free pass to behave in this way. In performing these so-called protests, you are demonstrating that you, in fact, are the ones who have the power to speak over other people in this society. Unfortunately, the University of Missouri is only one of many universities that have these cancerous, vile, gender and women's studies programs. There is no science involved in these. They are simply activist breeding grounds. How can you make a difference? Refuse to enroll in any university that has a women or gender studies department or even courses. Tell your friends, but don't do so through the internet. Do it privately. The key to undermining these terrible people is to keep your communications private where they cannot drag them out and use them to target you with harassment, abuse, sexism, racism. Tell your friends, but do it the old-fashioned way. Make it so that they have nothing to point at and shriek. Vote with your feet and your wallet. Especially if you're taking out a student loan, you deserve better than this trash. You deserve better than a university that takes not only present, but future earnings from you, supposedly in exchange for a good education, and then shoves sensitivity training and women's studies and feminism and Black Lives Matter rhetoric down your throat. The University of Missouri is now feeling the effects of people saying, I don't want to take my student loan to a place that's going to abuse me, tell me what a terrible person I am, and possibly give me a poorer education in the name of diversity. No matter what, university systems are still inherently capitalistic at heart. They still need the money of the people attending. If you choose not to attend, 
That is your protest. Boycott universities that have social justice departments. Tell them why you're not going to that school. Tell them to get rid of women and gender studies. Tell them to kick out feminism. Tell them to get rid of Black Lives Matter. Tell them not to tolerate protests, particularly protests that violate the rules or that restrict the freedom of others. Tell them to enforce all rules fairly across all races and genders and to stop giving women and so-called people of color unearned privileges over men and white people. Let them know why you're not going. Don't talk about what you're doing too publicly because that gives the evil people ammunition that they need to attempt to take you down for having a different opinion from them and from not wanting to give your money to an institution that lets them bully you. This is Feminazi, signing off.